Hi, everyone. I'm here with Brian Sanchez. Thanks for being with us, Brian. Thanks, everybody. Good to see you again, Steve. Been a little bit. I've been traveling a little because that's what I do. Having fun. All right. So we're going to talk about something that you see in the gym. And this might be a little boring, but it's important. We're going to talk about breathing, how to breathe when you're lifting weights, when you're exercising. So what have you seen and, and what are your tips? Hey, real quick, uh, uh, breathing while exercising is a part of form. And I don't think, I think everybody kind of gets that. And usually they apply the, the, the form of breathing to like cardio, like when you're running and things of that nature, you know, people develop a rhythm of breathing. When you're lifting weights and you're doing boot camps and you're doing all these things, you have to practice your breathing rhythms. Uh, because if you don't and you're not feeding that body with enough oxygen, just the basics of what can happen, you know, fatigue, uh, the body gets anxious, your blood pressure fluctuates either up or down, depending on what's going on with your body. And if it really drops low, you can pass out. You know, if you're standing, um, the, the most prominent one that I've seen and it's actually happened to me where I've gotten really dizzy is deadlifting. Um, you know, you're fighting gravity and blood's trying to get pumped up to the, uh, to the brain and you minimize the oxygen because you're not breathing properly with your technique. Um, you can pass out, you know, obviously there's a lot of different factors with it, but everything has to be a part of your form. Everything has to be a part of your technique and breathing is a part of that. An example would be if I'm doing like a chest press and I'm coming down and I'm breathing in, I'm inhaling. When I explode, I have to explode with my breathing. If I'm not practicing that breathing, and the way I do it is I make sure it's audible to me. I'm not yelling and screaming, but I want to make sure I can hear my breathing. Because as you go up in weights or you get fatigued, your, your, your chances are is you're going to kind of hold your breath when you're trying to press or use your contractions and your, your, your muscles are contracting, you're trying to move a weight uh, or move your body and you kind of stall out. Nine times out of 10, people who are not practicing breathing technique, look, they kind of close off their windpipe. It's, it's just, it's what happens. And if you're on incline benches or decline benches, look out because it's even harder and you stop the breathing process. And then when you get the weight off of you, you try to catch up. Now your heart rate's up because you're trying to get more oxygen into your body. And if you continue to do this several times, let's say you're doing repetitions and every time you do a bench and you, when you're pressing up, you're holding your breath and you're not properly breathing. Look, you can pass out. You just have to understand that really big when you're doing squats, huge when you're doing deadlifts. You can see video after video after video out there online of people passing out in the gyms because breathing becomes an issue. Now, there's other factors in there like blood sugar levels. Uh, did you eat? Is your body prepared for your workout? How much sleep you get in? I get all that place to play. But I want everybody to get this one thing from this. Breathing is a part of your technique. Learn a practice breathing system. For me, I keep it simple. I have to hear when my muscles are reaction, uh, relaxing in the move. I have to hear my inhale. And when I accelerate to move whatever weight I'm using, I have to hear my exhale. It has to be audible to me. Then I know I'm breathing. And I've been successful even in my heavy lifting to be able to make sure that I'm not passing out and falling over, getting dizzy, having to lay down. Every once in a while, I'll catch myself, uh, but then I'll begin to move again. Now, another technique that I do use when I'm using heavier weights, let's say, and I'm really lifting hard, is I practice um, inhaling during my acceleration of movement, where I will, I will press inhale, press inhale through the technique. Um, one of the dangers of that is if you do a rapid breathing, you could get a little dizzy. I do it as a practice format and a part of a technique to work through where my body isn't moving and it helps me to get burst energy. So practice your breathing as a technique, Steve. Yeah, uh, this is how I kind of describe it. And tell me if you agree or if this kind of makes sense to you, because 
It's the same thing that you said, but when you exert, you exhale. So it, it doesn't mean you can't say when you push, exhale, because you're not always pushing when you exert. Correct, correct. On the, on the concentric contraction. So you might be pulling. Correct, but correct. That's, that's when I would exhale. And when I'm doing the eccentric contraction, when you're letting the weight back or you're releasing it, that's when you would inhale. Inhale, correct. Yes. Yeah. Not always a push. Man, you always got those big words, bro. Oh, yeah. Check I, this guy I, out, everybody. It's it's the NAD, man. I'm taking the NAD. Steve really is the guy that if I'm at the gym, Steve is the guy I'm going to look at. That's an insight thing. I know. Yeah, yeah. You you heard about all this stuff, you know, it's been going on for about a year. You know, women <laughs> pointing their tripods and stuff. Uh, I I caught an older couple looking at me. <laughs> I bet you I did. Think, I think it was more of a... Uh, uh, you know, a photo bomb. Ah, uh, we're in a photo. Yeah. Or were they laughing? Yeah. At me. Know. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, hopefully that helps everybody on breathing. If you guys want to know more about me, you can go to stevemain.com. Brian is at our studio in Carson City, the Fitness for 10. So thanks for being with us, Brian. Great to be here as usual. See you, everybody. Take care. <laughs>